right, off for the maiden voyage with my CR01 Tamiya tires, axial wheels, Novak brushless sensor system, 18.5 turn. I don't know how many kV it is. Bronco body with lights, electronic servo, spectrum receiver, not waterproof. I must try and remember that I am not waterproof. Hopefully nobody's still looking at the water. Well, this thing lacks steering. I need to get a servo horn for it. Drive shaft. What? Uh, broke the front drive shaft. Oh. And the one that's that's broken is the one that's just here to grub it. So I haven't drilled it out yet. So solid light bar. Two wheel drive. Come on, baby. Dude, and she does her. Come on. Beauty, nice move. What the hell? It fell over. Judges, give it a seven. Thank you. You're welcome. Well deserved. Ted kicked it in the river with it being Ted. French panel, give it a 4.9. There's a nice one up over there. Oh, you nice there. Beautiful. Jay had it. Hey 
Hey guys, what's up? Just starting uh, River Trail East by my lonesome. So the last time I was out, I blew the front front drive shaft because it was still the old aluminum one. Now it I have the June Fuck uh, hardened steel drive shafts in there. Uh, it's got torque twist issues. The previous owner removed the stabilizing bar, which I haven't researched yet, so I don't know how or what to put in there to make it stop doing that. I got different springs for it, but it's got the lightest springs in it already, and I don't want to make it any stiffer on the one side to make it stop the uh, rolling. Okay, there's people coming. I look weird when I'm talking. I'm out of brake spot number one in River Trail East now. So, as you can see, there's a dampener and a shock separate. The body on the CR1 is like, uh, almost like the bottom half is in AX10, and then they put a large frame on top of it, like an SCX10 or sawback chassis on top of it, but it's way thicker. Um, let's see, it's four link, short wheelbase. I haven't measured it, but it's pretty short. All the electronics and everything are up here. It's running an old Novak uh, censored brushed 18.5 turn system in it. I'm running it on two cell. I think that's all it can handle. Such a work, short wheelbase, even with the weighted wheels and all the weight up top. I don't think I'm making that without speed. Like, can't picture this being a speedy truck, you know? No. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, nope. Not bad. Let's make that one. Probably not going to make it this one. I think we're running. It's dark out now, all right. So after a little bit of run, it was short. I don't know, it might have been an hour, not even. I went down to the rocks and played there. I didn't film much. I'll probably just use this as an ending to the other video when I had it out. I think it was with Ted and JD. Can't remember, I think Ted was there. Yeah, I was on River Trail West. Anyways, uh, aside from the suspension, I gotta fix that. Maybe more weight. But I think there's a lot of things I can do with weight distribution, like, uh, move the ESC down into the cage part like the AX10 part and then uh, what else was I gonna do maybe chop some of the frame get rid of some plastic get rid of everything up top I don't need for weight purposes and get everything as low as I can and we'll get it out again and see how it does all right guys thanks for watching